hey, out of sight, out of mind, doesn't work any longer for this closet. It's time to get it organized. You know, organizing a closet is one of those things that I don't know about you, but I never seem to find the time to get around to do. In my house, the closets often get filled up with all kinds of things, even the guest closets. When you have a rainy day, why don't you go in and reorganize your closets? If you do, here are a few tips you might keep in mind. First, go through the closet and clean everything out. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it's the best way to look at what you have and begin to make some choices because it's all about choice. If you haven't worn anything in a full year, that means you have all four seasons or at least you have your spring and summer and your fall and winter. If you haven't worn it in a year, you need to get rid of it. And this is an opportunity for you to do something for someone less fortunate. Donate it to Goodwill or some other charity where someone less fortunate will have an opportunity to wear something nice that you're going to discard. Take this for instance. Maybe it worked at one time. It's just not me anymore. It's gotta go. The thing to remember here is efficiency. For instance, here I have all shirts and I've organized them based on color. Starting over here with bright colors, in reds, so forth, to blues, to grays, and into brown over here. It just makes getting up and getting dressed in the morning that much more efficient. Oh, and here's another idea. For scarves, I like to go ahead and tie them on a clothes hanger like this. Makes it really handy. They're not always sliding off and falling onto the floor. Now, speaking of the floor, if we move a little closer, there's a way you can use some extension rods to work on those shoes. So if you notice, I've got all this space between the bottom of the clothes and the floor. Wasted space. I can put certainly shoes across the bottom here on the floor, but I've got this intermediate area that I could fill. By taking a couple of extension rods like this, you see I have this one in place. I'm just gonna put this one in here. Then you just take the shoes, place them up there, and hey, you've doubled your shoe space in your closet. If you have any interesting tips on how you've made your closet space more efficient, I'd love to hear about it. Tell your friends about this video and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.